3 a particle move along a straight line at t second so we see here after passing fixed through point so we see here this one after passing point o so the particle passes through o with velocity of 36 meter per second so we know when passing o t is 0 v is equal to 36 a find the range of value of t when velocity is negative so here we know that s we get v and then we get a and we know going to the right this one is differentiation this one is dv over dt and going the other way around it is integration integration okay so now what we have is a okay from a we wanted to get v right a to v this one is integration of a so a is equal to 60 minus 24 so v is equal to integration of a in term of t so this one is 60 minus 24 so when we want to integrate we add the power with 1 and divide with power so this one constant just write a constant back t is actually t power of 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 and then divide with power so this one is minus so this one is 24 so this one become 24 t so here we see here we have indefinite integral that means we don't have range from here to here don't forget to add plus c so here we see that v is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 t square minus 24 t plus c and we know that so we have c here we don't want to we don't have, want to have c but we know that when t is equal to 0 v is equal to 36 when t is equal to 0, v is equal to 3, 0 square minus 24, 0 plus c. So, v itself is 36. So, c is equal to 36. So, our equation here, v is equal to 3t square minus 24t. c is plus 36. B is equal to 3t square minus 24t plus 36. So range value of t when velocity is negative. So negative that means v is smaller than 0. So here we have v is 3t square minus 24t plus 36 is smaller than 0. Everything can be divided with 3 right so we have t square minus 8t divided by 3 smaller than 0 so here we see here we have negative 8 so to get 8 so this one is actually 6 times 2 right so this one is t minus 6 t minus 2 so you see here this one we get negative 8 this one is positive theft all right so this one is smaller than so we know in inequality when we have smaller than the range is inside so this one is 2 and 6 this one is 2 and 6 so this one the this one you can just use your calculator using EQN method so this one in between which means t is in between 2 and 6 so the range value of t when the velocity is negative is this one t is from 2 to 6 b the minimum velocity of particle so we see here this one is positive right so it must be a smiling graph for velocity so we know that you see here inter differentiation means the gradient so we know that at this point you see going down the slope the slope a is smaller than zero slope coming up a is larger than zero so there is this point where a is equal to zero and this is the minimum minimum point that we are talking about so we know that minimum velocity so minimum velocity a is equal to zero so when a is equal to zero so we have this equation here 60 minus 24 is equal to zero 60 is equal to 24 t is equal to 24 divided by 6 so here we get 4 so at t is 4 second we get uh, uh the it's the time for minimum velocity but then it wanted to know what is the minimum velocity itself so when t is equal to 4 v is equal to 3 4 square minus 24 t sorry 24 4 plus 36 so you basically replace t with 4 so here 3 times 16 minus this one is 48 96 plus 36 so just use your calculator 
or you can calculate depending which is equal to negative 12 meter per second so this is our v this is the minimum velocity of the particle which is negative 12 meter per second